Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chico here, and today we're doing a reaction video to Religion Are Man Made from Yusuf Estes. Well, just to give you a little background about Mr. Yusuf Estes, uh, he was born Joseph Estes in 1944, and he is an American preacher from Texas who converted from Christianity to Islam in 1991. He claims to have been a Muslim chaplain for the United States Bureau of Prisons through the 1990s and to have served a delegate to the United Nations World Peace Conference for Religious Leaders held at the UN in September 2000. That's why I am so excited to uh, hear what he has to say about this certain topic but first things first if you're still new to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification so that you'll get notified by all the videos that i upload so are you guys ready to learn from this video i am so here we go let's start watching this i'm a non-muslim my name is shweta and i'm a student uh, sir made a statement saying other religions are man-made I would like to, I, I would want them to elaborate on it. I didn't quite understand. Did you have a particular speaker who you would like to answer? Well, Sheikh Yusuf will take it, inshallah. Bismillah. I am the one that said it, so I'll be responsible for my own words. Sound fair? Yeah, I said that. All, all religions are man-made except the one which comes from the God. Yes? Yes or no? Because if it didn't come from God, where did it come from? Human beings. And the way to know whether or not it came from God is to put it to the test. Any claims that are made, you should be able to verify them. Any statements, anything, whether practical or impractical, should have some relevance to what we understand as human beings. And if you find within it that it just doesn't fit, it doesn't work, it doesn't make sense, even in a small part or a large part, then obviously you got to say this doesn't work. And how would it be that the God that created everything had a specific religion only for one person or one group of people? What we spoke about earlier when I was talking about a deen, it has to be all inclusive. If it's really from God, if it's really from the Lord above, if it's really from a creator, if there really is a creator, then he should know what he created. And he should know everything about us as a whole and individually. And we think there's like six billion or so human beings staggering around the earth today, right? Right? Yeah. So he should know every single one of them and what their needs are. And then what he offers for them should be good for everybody and good for each and every one of them at the same time. And in fact, after studying many religions, I found there isn't any such thing but all of them have their limitations. All of them are going to be indicative to the particular place, time, and person that they came to. Because, in fact, they came from that person or that group of people. Now, according to what we have in Islam, we know that there's only been one God since the beginning, and he has sent revelation down to the people. He has sent prophets to the people from the best of the people amongst them. He chose these people and inspired them and showed them how to teach then the later generations people corrupted it and this is what we find the accusation coming to the Jewish from Jesus himself in the Bible of the Christians clearly stating that the Pharisees those in, responsible for the Sanhedrin were in fact the corruptors of the religion and unless your righteousness exceeds theirs you're going to go to hell that's in uh, Matthew 5 17 18 19 it's very clear so if you know anything about Christianity, you know that Jesus is telling them they corrupted it and it's not God's religion anymore. Likewise, if you know anything about some of the followers of Jesus, such as James, they claim that Paul was corrupt. And they said that he was corrupting the religion. In fact, he also was a Pharisee. Then when Moses comes to his people, he's telling them that what came before them was also null and void. And he's got what? The commandments. And when Muhammad, peace be upon him, comes, he's saying again the same thing, whatever was before, because people have corrupted it. The people of Mecca, at the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him, are descendants, many of them, from 
Abraham and Ismael, and they had the real religion right there in their place originally, but they corrupted it to the extent that nobody would recognize it anymore, except for the fact that they went in the same direction about around the Kaaba, and maybe between Safa and Marwa. Other than that, you wouldn't be able to recognize it. The practices that they had, emphasize killing little baby girls, burying them in the sand, walking around in their worship naked, drinking alcohol until their brains were cooked. The things that the people did, and they claimed it was part of their religion. So when people have free reign, they will change the religion to fit themselves. And they always do that. And we would have done the same thing because we're human beings. We would have, except Allah promised in the Quran that he would preserve the Quran till the sun rises from the place that it set. And the Quran has not been corrupted, has not been changed. It's exactly today as it was recited at the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Exactly what he taught them can be taught right now. And it fits, not only in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> it fits in a place called Mecca, Louisiana. It fits in a place in Texas where I grew up, called Houston. It works because it is general and it's specific, but it works because it's really from the God. The message of Islam is a very simple one. It is to believe that there's one God and only one. And all of your love, all of your devotion, all of your energy is for him and his deen, his way of life. That's the message of Islam. And whoever wants that can have it, even if they don't know Arabic. In fact, if there was somebody, like you hear this question posed very often by disbelievers, what if you have a religion, yes? What if a baby is born on desert island and grows up on a desert island somehow with no influence of any human being? Just grows up out there eating watermelons and coconuts, okay? What does your religion teach you about that baby? Can that baby be in your religion? Without knowing anything about your religion, could he be? In fact, Islam is clearly stated the baby started out as a Muslim in the deen already and something will have to take him out of the deen otherwise if he stays in what he was born in he will die in the right way believing there must be something up there although i don't know what but if i knew it i would do the best i can to serve him if that's their attitude that's all they could be expected to do make sense do you understand me what is this yes or no cool thank you well, I actually like his explanation to this certain topic, guys. Um, I feel like Mr. Yusuf Estes is so full of wisdom, just like Dr. Zakir Naik. Um, and the way that he explained it to that uh, lady is uh, kind of elaborate. But every day we have to thank um, our Almighty, our Creator, for all the blessings and the opportunities that it has given us. And make every day as an opportunity to be a blessing to everybody do good to everyone share the goodness of your heart and if you can be an inspiration to everyone to do good things to others because i feel like it has to be like that all the good things that we experience we have to share so other people can share to others and so on and so forth because i believe that islam is a religion of peace well what did you think about this video guys do you agree with mr yusuf istes please feel free to comment down below and if you like this reaction video please give me a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification so that you'll get notified by all the videos that i upload and if you have other videos of mr yusuf is test or any other videos that you want me to do a reaction video to please feel free to paste the link down below as well i will see you guys in my next video spread love and not hate everyone love one another bye